Hi there, welcome back. We're doing a uh, quick overview of the Body Track Lite uh, software for Android. Uh, Body Track Lite is a, uh, a reduced set of features uh, as compared to our Body Track Pro software. For, so, for instance, if you want to do uh, more complex uh, rehab, you may find that the features available in Body Track Pro, like video, like the uh, snapshot feature, uh, and uh, some of the other reporting features, may be more useful to you. Uh, but if you're just looking for a quick uh, pressure checker uh, to uh, confirm uh, what's uh, what's been done in the field uh, or done in the clinic in the field, uh, this is a, a good tool to use. The uh, body track light. Uh, first thing we want to confirm is that we've been connected to the. Uh, data port and we are you can see the symbol there and that's con confirming that we have a connection and we can skip right to, to starting to uh, do pressure mapping here traditional pressure map most people have seen elsewhere scale is 0 to 200 millimeters of mercury you've got a, the ability to rotate the image so which depending on which perspective you want this is a known as a dispersion index box so I can position this to capture the ITs and the issue or the uh, sacral area and if that percentage of load is above 50 percent then you're at risk of, uh, of a pressure trauma according to the literature you also have contact area or sensing area the, and the area which the person is contacting the seat the peak pressure index and the uh, coefficient of variation. The uh, coefficient of variation is a flatness indicator, so how evenly we've distributed the pressure. So if uh, sensing area goes up, typically the coefficient of variation will go down unless you've got a spot uh, that, uh, like an issue that's uh, really landing hard on the, on the cushion that's asymmetric. Um, you also have gradient. Gradient is a good display for inferring where risk is. If you've got an area that's got a really high uh, location of pressure, you'll see a, um, I'm just going to rotate this for a second, you'll see higher colors around the border. It's an inverse of this display to some degree. Uh, you'll see there's nothing in the middle compared to uh, higher pressure here. And uh, so we're mapping the curve, or the slope rather, of the uh, mountain, so to speak. So the faster the pressure moves from one location to another, uh, you can see it's millimeters of mercury per centimeter, you'll get higher colors and or, um, hotter colors. And that's an indication of where shear might be happening. The tissue is under stress because the, the pressure is moving so fast, and that's an indicator of uh, possible shear happening in those locations. You also have uh, risk. A risk is a display based on the Resic Rogers curve. Resic Rogers curve uh, displays the pressure uh, over time uh, for tissue. So uh, it indicates that higher pressures can be tolerated for lower periods of time, uh, lower pressures for much longer periods of time. And what we're doing is we're doing a calculation of the pressure that's on this cushion right now over time. If that uh, calculation exceeds the uh, Resic Rogers curve and alarm will sound. Uh, if you're using this for demo purposes there's a way to accelerate this so you can show what's happening otherwise we have to wait uh, for a while for the information to show up and it'll show up in the same area that you see here on the left except it'll be millimeters of mercury per hour. Okay. Uh, as far as the other features or uh, selections we have up here, this indicates that we have a, uh, a connection to a Body Track 2 seat mat. So I have a Body Track 2 uh, seat mat I'm sitting on right now. It's connected to a battery and it's sending the information wirelessly to uh, Body Track Lite on the tablet. Uh, this is either a, uh, a solid display like we have now or it's a four-step comparison. We'll review that in the next video. We have a uh, snapshot. I can take a snapshot and store information about the individual. This is the settings. Uh, we'll go through that in the next video. And this, of course, is rotate. So hopefully that's been helpful. We'll catch you up in the next video.